Hey guys, for Shishter here, in today's video, we're going to show you how to factory reset your Samsung Galaxy S22. Here I have the S22 Ultra, but this will work on any of the S22 series and other Android phone as well. So let's get started. So as you can see here right now, I have the phone here. Now before you actually think about factory resetting, which will delete all of your data like photos, videos, apps, contacts, and pretty much anything on your phone and pretty much reset it to the default. The software that you install on it, that will still stay like the Android software itself on that same version. So keep that in mind. But before you even actually consider doing that, consider doing a backup of your data somehow through like your Google accounts or off to some other drive as well. Because once you do this, all of the data that's not backed up will be completely gone and pretty much uh, impossible to recover. So let's get started. So if you're ready, after you backed up and everything, you could do this. Go into settings here. And once you go into settings, you get a menu just like this. And what you want to do is go all the way down to scroll here. You see there's a bunch of options here. The option that we're going to be interested in is on accounts and backup here and once you go into accounts and backup here you'll see here the option to um, actually option to kind of back up your data so you can see you can use Samsung Cloud and Google um, Drive as well those are some ways if you're moving to another device you can also use this so those things are pretty important you can go through and do one of those but if you're ready to reset all you do is you see the option for reset here and we click on reset it gives us more options here now you will see there are a couple options for reset but the one that we want to do is a factory data reset again this will erase all data including files and downloaded app that's the one we want and we click on that once you do that it kind of goes here and tells you you know to gonna back up your device if you didn't because all of this thing will be completely gone from your device and once you're ready to do that all you do is that reset option and one more uh, option to delete all you're going to click on it and the phone's going to shut down here and the re the process will begin for it now remember when you do factory reset it if you have phone service it's not going to delete the phone service right if you're getting, trying to move to a new phone just transfer the service over if you're uh, thinking of canceling the service you have to call, contact your carrier so as you can see here it's going through doing it depending on how much data you have this process could take a couple minutes to even 15 20 minutes if you have a lot of data that needs to be uh, deleted but generally pretty fast and quick and once it's done it's going to get back to the main screen like you would when you originally got it where it goes to the setup page so you want to keep on continuing to wait to do that another tip is always make sure that your phone has enough charge or is charging during the process you don't want the phone to just die like if your battery is on a low battery percentage probably recommend charging it ahead or plugging it in charge before you do this and as you can see it's still going through we see our carrier flash a few times but that's completely fine also if you're thinking of giving it or selling it or tra trading it in make sure to remove the sim card which is going to be at the bottom here you want to uh, put some the sim ejector tool put it in there and take your sim card out it's always a good thing to do uh, as you can see and we're done here welcome page that means it's been uh, reset completely sometimes when you do the reset if it asks for your uh, uh, you can do is to make sure that it's fully reset you can go back to the main screen again by skipping through the setup process to get to the main page hopefully there's no like pin or anything that you put on but usually those are erased when you do this process so hopefully you guys found this quick little video helpful if so please make sure that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time